changing. Look who it is. Possible stealth unit in the AO. That's another clue found. Nuka Cola Victory. 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 Nuka Cola Victory.
alive, Gage. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. I made a promise to all of you, and I followed through. There's nothing more to it than that. You make it sound like it's no big deal. You've just got to understand, we ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Yeah, I think I like where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured you would. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before, been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. If you're vouching for this shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, 
I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. Shank. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. It sounded like a good idea. Because it is. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well... I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Get a gang together. Those settlers are as good as dead. Ha, <laughs> stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang you want to join you on the job? The pack. Sure, sure. I'll get a stake on a string or something. Gotta let the dogs run around every once in a while, huh? That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, The Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again, make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? I'm ready. Good. So, where do you want to hit? Let me... Wait. Pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? That one's the target. <laughs> Ruthless. 
So, these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. Be a couple of our guys waiting for you when you arrive. Help you clean the place out. Now you're not gonna be able to take a direct route to the place. Fast way to get yourself killed. So you'll have to meet our folks outside town. Wouldn't be surprised if some Minutemen showed up to lend a hand. Wish I could see their faces when they see who they're going up against. Now, if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge, might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. <laughs> Probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just gonna have standard kits though. If you want to arm them up differently, I'd take along some extra gear. Show those settlers who's in charge.